This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. The world is on the verge of global change. The speed of data transmission has increased by multiples of millions. The rate of globally significant events and that of discoveries and crises is growing exponentially. Our civilization is like an uncaptained ship sailing on rough seas with neither chart nor compass, all the while moving faster and faster. The time we have to make the right decisions is shorter and shorter. We are facing the choice to fall into a new dark age, into affliction and degradation, or to find a new model for human development and create not simply a new civilization, but a new mankind. Historic crises show that to break the deadlock, we need technological revolution. It is clear that today's revolution will also require the deepest social transformation. The world's community and leaders should encourage mankind instead of wasting resources on solving momentary problems. To focus on the technologies of the future, nanotechnology, biotechnology, information technology, cognitive technology, genetics and robotics. Doing so will allow us to find new sources of energy, create fundamentally new architecture and transportation, allow unprecedented developments of human cognitive abilities, refine artificial intelligences and brain-computer interfaces, simulate complex systems, create humanoid robots and cyborgs, and with the help of nanorobots, we may develop manageable matter. Find ways to transfer one's personality to an artificial carrier. Yet what we need is not just another technological revolution, but a new civilizational paradigm. We need new philosophy and ideology, new ethics, new culture and new psychology, and even new metaphysics. We must reset our limits, go beyond ourselves, beyond the Earth and beyond the solar system. This is an adequate response to the challenges of our time. Thus, new reality and future man will arise. Could it happen spontaneously, by itself? Unlikely. Humanity does not have a master plan of its development. It seeks stability. It lives in the present and does not plan. It preserves the status quo and tries to escape development. It does not tend to map future centuries and take responsibility for evolution. In consumer society's culture, there is no evolutionary vocabulary and rhetoric. To break the deadlock, the Russia 2045 movement was founded. It is a mega-project intended to reach new heights and meanings. We intend to create a new vector for civilization, aimed at constant human development and evolution. As happened with the mega-projects of the last century, the nuclear and the space programs, we integrate the latest discoveries and developments from the sciences physics, energetics, aeronautics, bioengineering, nanotechnology, neurology, cybernetics, cognitive science. May everlasting spiritual ideals and values help us avoid going astray. Our project will give new meanings to the millions of people on Earth, will become a result of their joint creativity, and will lead us out of the impasse. Away from the murder of nature and physical death, forward to the realm of freedom and creativity, to the depths of the ocean and to the stars, to the infinite universe of our inner world. Our forecast for the next 40 years. February 2012. Global Future 2045 Congress is held in Moscow. It is a debate platform for discussion of our civilization's prospects for development. 2012 to 2013. The global economic and social crises are exacerbated. The debates on the global paradigm of future development intensifies. New transhumanist movements and parties emerge. Russia 2045 transforms into World 2045. Simultaneously, the 2045.com International Social Network for Open Innovation is expanding. Here, anyone interested may propose a project, take part in working on it, or fund it, or both. In the network, there are scientists, scholars, researchers, financiers, and managers. 2013 to 2014, new centers working on cybernetic technologies for the development of radical life extension rise. The race for immortality starts. 2015 to 2020, the avatar is created. 
a robotic human copy controlled by thought via brain-computer interface. It becomes as popular as a car. In Russia and in the world appear, in testing mode, several breakthrough projects. Android robots to replace people in manufacturing tasks. Android robot servants for every home. Thought-controlled avatars to provide telepresence in any place of the world and abolish the need for business trips. Flying cars. Thought-driven mobile communications built into the body or sprayed onto the skin. 2020 to 2025. An autonomous system providing life support for the brain and allowing it interaction with the environment is created. The brain is transplanted into an Avatar B. With Avatar B, man receives new, expanded life. 2025. The new generation of Avatars provides complete transmission of sensations from all five sensory robot organs to the operator. 2030 to 2035. Rebrain. The colossal project of brain reverse engineering is implemented. World science comes very close to understanding the principles of consciousness. 2035. The first successful attempt to transfer one's personality to an alternative carrier. The epoch of cybernetic immortality begins. 2040 to 2050. Bodies made of nanorobots that can take any shape arise alongside hologram bodies. 2045 to 2050. Drastic changes in social structure and in scientific and technological development. All the prerequisites for space expansion are established. For the man of the future, war and violence are unacceptable. The main priority of his development is spiritual self-improvement. A new era dawns. The era of neo-humanity. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Thank you for watching, and God bless you.